and welcome to Build a Bot Lego Storytime. Today is all about robots. We are going to read some books about robots. We are going to look at some Lego robots built by other kids in the Boulder Library community. And then at the end, you are going to have some time to build your own robots out of Legos and share them with everyone else. Are you ready? Great, let's begin. Our first book today is called Little Robot Alone. It is written by Patricia McLaughlin and Emily McLaughlin Charest and illustrated by Matt Phelan. It is read with permission from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Little Robot lived in a white house on a green hill by a blue pond. Every morning he put on his tracks. One by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long, he charged his battery. Zippity zappity, crickety crackety, hum, hum, hum. And he sang his cheerful breakfast song. Oats with oozy oil are yummy, slipping slowly down my tummy. Little Robot had a peaceful life. He watched the birds fly over his white house. He watched the squirrels race on the green hill. He watched the fish splash in the blue pond. But he felt alone. One night, Little Robot dreamed of a smooth, shiny shape. When he woke in the morning, he had an idea. First, he put on his tracks, one by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long. He charged his battery, zippity zappity, crickety crackety, hum, hum, hum. He sang his cheerful breakfast song. Oats with oozy oil are yummy, slipping slowly down my tummy. Then Little Robot began. Here's my bag, an oily rag. Pegs, glue, where are you? Battery screws, a handy wrench, I'll put them all upon my bench. Little Robot bent the metal into a shape. He used a screwdriver to attach the ends. He worked and worked and worked. Finally, on his bench was something smooth and shiny. It had four wooden legs and a button. Little Robot pressed the button, nothing. Little Robot pressed the button again. Nothing. Little Robot thought hard. He had more to do. He rolled to his bag of treasures. He found two bright marbles, some soft wool, and a small broom. Then he worked and worked and worked. Little Robot took a deep breath. He added tracks and squirted them with oil. One by one, tight and strong, rolling, strolling all day long. He charged the battery. Zippity, zappity, crickety, crackety. Say it with me this time. Hum, hum, hum. His new thing shook. The broom wagged. Little robot jumped back. What did he build? He pressed the button. And the new thing leaned over and licked Little Robot on his smooth metal cheek. Can you talk? asked Little Robot softly. Woof, it said. Little Robot reached out and patted the smooth, shiny body. Welcome home, he whispered, my friend. <gasps> what did he build? He built himself a robot dog for a friend. Little Robot rolled outside. Little dog is here, he called out. The birds flew down to sea. The squirrels on the green hill came close. The fish in the blue pond had a look. Little dog sniffed the air. He watched the birds. He wagged his broom tail at the squirrels and the fish. As the stars came out, Little Robot and Little Dog rolled into their white house and under a moonlit quilt. Good night, Little Dog, whispered Little Robot. 
his friend was already asleep. Sleep happy, sleep well, until the night's end. My good little dog, my good little friend. The end. Have you ever thought about building yourself a robot friend? Now's your chance. Would you like to see what some other kids have built? Let's take a look. Weren't those so amazing? I can't wait to see what you built. Let's read another book, and while we read, be thinking about all the different kinds of robots you can build out of Legos. This next book is called Dylan the Villain, and it is by K.G. Campbell, read with permission of Viking, which is an imprint of Penguin Random House. Mr. and Mrs. Snivels were minding their own business when they happened to have a baby. Congratulations, said the doctor. It's a healthy little supervillain. Mrs. Snivels was quite surprised. There aren't any villains in the family, she said. Or are there? Mr. Snivels didn't say anything, but there totally were. We have great-great-grandpa Snivels, a bad un. Aunt Winifred Snivels, a rotten apple. Cousin Sylvester Snivels, a rogue. Sissy and Sid Snivels, scoundrels. Grandpa Snivels, regular villain. And Dylan Snivels, a super villain. The new parents named their little boy Dylan. They discovered that supervillain babies are much like any others. They don't like bedtime. They throw their food. They can even be allergic to everyday stuff like purple parsnip preserves. But by and large, Dylan's parents figured he was just about the best thing ever. Dylan's super villain costume, they said, is super scary. Dylan's super villain laugh, they insisted, is super crazy. Would everyone like to do a supervillain laugh with me? Okay, ready? <laughs> Let me hear your supervillain laughs. Oh, those are super crazy. Dylan's supervillain inventions, they boasted, are extra supervillainous. You, they told Dylan, are the very best and cleverest supervillain in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed until he went to school. Sure, Dylan's costume was scary, but Addison Van Malice's was bone chilling. She has blue hair. Who has blue hair? And yes, Dylan's laugh was crazy, but Addison Van Malice's was bananas. You ready to do some banana supervillain laughs? Here we go. <laughs> Very good. And Dylan's inventions were certainly supervillainous, but Addison Van Malice's were demonic. Honestly, grumbled Dylan, the way people act around here, you'd think that I'm not the very best and cleverest supervillain in the whole wide world. He vowed to prove that he was. His chance came one day when Miss Slither announced a contest. This hideous trophy, she declared, will be awarded to the pupil who creates the most diabolical robot. Principal Sinister will be the judge. Each pupil was given a box of parts from the Diabolical Robot Supply Company. That hideous trophy, vowed Dylan, will be mine, all mine. Dylan worked feverishly late into the night. He sawed and he hammered. He screwed and he glued. He painted and he polished. By midnight, Dylan had built a robot. 
In the morning, Dylan gave his parents a demonstration. Look, he said, it has telescopic arms. It has monstrous claws. It even has an astroplasm cannon. That, said Mr. and Mrs. Snivels, is the very best, most diabolical robot in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed. Until he went to school. Sure, Dylan's robot was diabolical. In fact, it was more diabolical than anyone else's. Except one. Whose robot do you think that was? Look, said Addison Van Mellis. It has titanium armor and evil laser eyes. It has a freeze ray and a shrink ray. It even has a cockpit and supersonic rockets for space travel. What does this do, said Dylan? Uh-oh. That says, quick launch. <gasps> Uh-oh. When Principal Sinister arrived, Dylan's robot was the most diabolical in the class. Where is Addison Van Malice? said the principal. We don't know, said everyone. And that was quite true. Dylan won the hideous trophy. It was a little sticky. But Dylan didn't care. He cuddled it all night. Unfortunately, the sticky hideous trophy gave Dylan an allergic reaction. It was almost like someone had put purple parsnip preserves on it on purpose. That, said Mr. and Mrs. Snivels, is the very ugliest, most uncomfortable looking allergic reaction in the whole wide world. And Dylan totally agreed. The end? Can you see what she has? It looks to me like a jar of purple parsnip preserves. <gasps> hmm. All right, that's all the books I have. I hope that those stories gave you some great ideas of Lego robots to build. You could build any kind of Lego robot. It could be an evil robot like in the book. It could be a good robot or a dog friend robot. Should we take a look at a few more? robots? How would you like to put your robot online for everyone to see? So go ahead and get out your Legos, build your best Lego robot, take a picture of it, upload it to social media, and tag it with this hashtag, Boulder CSED. And that stands for Computer Science Education. So hashtag Boulder CSED. And if you click on that hashtag, you can find all the different Legos that everyone watching this program has made. I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to see your robots. Have a wonderful time building them. Bye, I'll see you next time.